Hey all, Russ here, Arvir DV, welcome. Check it out. We are in Sheridan, Wyoming. Spent the night here. Got all rested up. Yesterday, after driving through those winds, leaving South Dakota, that was, uh, kind of wore me out. And I was wore out from South Dakota. <laughs> it was a lot of work, a lot of videos. A lot of running around down there. So, I have a little plan. We're going to get back on I-90 up here. We're going to go about, oh, 15, 20 miles, and then we're going to start trekking west on Highway 14. Anyway, back to 14. We're going to go up through the Bighorn Mountains. Yay! I've always wanted to explore that area. We're going to take our time and go all the way up and over the Bighorns on uh, Highway 14. There's a couple different ways. Down in Buffalo, where we got up here to Sheridan, I could have cut across on Highway 16. And then also you can go all the way up Montana and double back. And they call it uh, Top of the World drive, something like that. Anyway, I chose uh, Highway 14 for this trip. Figured it'd be nice and scenic. Alrighty, I've driven I-90 a lot of times through the years come through here a few times where it, the weather is just awful. This is snow country too. They get major snowstorms here. Check out this bridge. Look at it. It is one fancy bridge. Says Sheridan on both ends. Got all the metal artwork, everything. Kind of cool, huh? All right, next stop, Highway 14. All right, here it is, exit nine. I've never driven it, never been across here. Oh, did that sign say Yellowstone? Huh, what to think about that? <laughs> We're cutting all the way across Wyoming. Okay, here we go. So long I-90. We won't be seeing you for a long time. We're going to cut through a couple small towns according to the Google Maps. And what's this big sign say? Ranchester. It's the first one. Dayton, Graybowl, and Lovell. I think we end up in Lovell. some tracks here and this looks like our first little town welcome to Ranchester Wyoming 
Small Town USA, back roads, Small Town USA. There's a town sign. Check it out. Population 855. Elevation 3,700 feet. Kind of keep that in mind because uh, straight ahead's at Bighorn Mountains. We're gonna. I think we go up close to nine, over 9,000 feet. That's what I was looking at when I was mapping this thing out. There's the Western Motel. Looks like town parks. I'm sure there is history here, little stores, restaurants. Isn't this neat? Early morning, oh, RV park. You know, this is the main road going into Yellowstone, one of them from the east side, so I bet they do get a ton of traffic through here. Gas station, but I'm totally topped off full of fuel. Green trees, I love it. Alright, looks like we're getting through Ranchester here. There's another town a few miles up that we go through. Maybe up here a ways I can find a place we'll take a look from the air, do a little aerial view. Looks like I got some residential housing out here. And that's about it. Now the mountains are coming into view better. Really looking forward to going over the, that pass. Could you imagine living here? I would love it except for the snow. Sign said Dayton, five miles. So we got five miles to the next little town. Well, maybe we can find a place to pull off. I see something up here. Looks like a storyboard and everything. Cool. Here we go. Here's the start of the journey. Big one says Wyoming. Alright, let's check it out. River crossing. Wow, that's a lot of information. Oh. <laughs> wow. History, huh? They used to run uh, horses and cattle through here. wonder what this marker is down here. Official marker, that's an official marker for the trail that used to go through here. Huh. Well, when in doubt, let's go up in the air and take a look.
Up we go. Wow, look at how plush. They got water here, huh? Look at that. That's a huge farmland there. It's like a little valley. Sprinklers going right there. There's Highway 14. You know, we were on 14 in uh, South Dakota, too. And look how barren it is on that side. You know, we're close to Montana. We're just a few miles from the state line here. And that's the direction we're going. To the mountains. <laughs> Pretty. All right, get landed. begun. We haven't even got close to the mountain yet. So there should be another little town right up here. Check that out. This is one plush little valley here with that water. Okay, speed reducing, so we must be getting close. 40 to 30. And here we are. Welcome to Dayton, Wyoming. That sign back there said population 750 and the elevation was 3,900 feet so we've gone up 200 feet. Now this is definitely small town USA. Look how the buildings are right on the street. Right there. Old, old style. Must be the store. A little park there or something. Just gotta love it. Look at all that pipe. They got something in ground going. You always tell how old the towns are. Look at the size of the trees. Them things are old, old. Been there forever. And what do we got out here? Schools, looks like. Big schools. We're definitely getting closer to mountains. Quite a bit of traffic. All right, I'd say we're getting out of Dayton. Here's one of them gates where they just close the road. Snows too much, they just close it. All 
point, let's do some hill climbing. Looking forward to this. This is a totally different landscape than South Dakota, isn't it? You know, South Dakota, you're in the, the Black Hills, which are kind of real rocky and sharp. These are big mountains, big open views. And look at all the pines up there. Here's a little side view of what I see while I'm driving. Just massive homes, huge, right in this little area here. If I can find a place up here, I'm going to stop, try to see them from the air before we get too far up the mountain here. But they are huge homes, beautiful homes. What a view they have looking back down that valley, my goodness. Look at this, the pines are just now starting here too. We're just now getting in the trees. This is awesome. All right. All right, I'm gonna look for a pull out. my right you, I can start seeing down into the valley I'll show it to you oop this will work great perfect all right take a look from the air if we go check it out that's looking up the mountain that's where we're going way up there look at the homes that's what I was talking about see those things those buildings down there and then look at their view this is the view they have they are big homes look at those things You can see the S-turns, switchbacks coming up here. And that's looking back down towards Dayton and all that. And here's the Bighorns. That's where we're going, way up there. Absolutely stunning. All right, well, get landed. We'll head on up.
Alright, this video is getting a little long. I'll cut it here. The journey continues. Don't go away. We're going to keep going up this hill. Next video. Talk soon.